Hello folks, Boda Bob here today. Hey, I got some work to do today and uh, what we're going to do is uh, remove the front end loader and I'm going to go out and I'm going to uh, mow my leaves. So in order to remove the front end loader, what you have to do is you have to raise the front end loader up, make sure you don't hit your ceiling. Um, in this case, my uh, front end loader goes just high enough to uh, the ceiling's just high enough to clear the front end loader and uh, you have to put the uh, front end loader stand down and so I want to show you that process here and uh, hopefully it makes sense so without further ado let's carry on stand in the down position and the front end loader lowered back down you have to uh, put your front end loader and do a dump so you're going to push it to the right and in your case it might look like a left I don't know this camera stuff's all hokey pokey to me so we'll uh, dump the bucket just enough to take the pressure off of the front end loader back here where it gets pinned. We'll remove the pins. I'll adjust the bucket a couple times to facilitate backing the mower, or I'm sorry, backing the tractor away from the uh, front end loader. So let's go and give that a try. <laughs> pressure off the pins that hold the front end loader to the frame of the tractor. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to curl the bucket and that'll lift the back of the front end loader up and allow me to push back from. I like to put the tractor in neutral when I do that and then um, the front end loader will actually push the tractor back and then I will um, Move the the move, arms will move back to push the tractor back, and then I'll pull the arms forward so that when I come in, um, that's just the way I, it makes it easier to remove the hydraulic hoses when I do that. <laughs> relieve the pressure on the, uh, hi, uh, the hydraulic system. So I just take the uh, joystick. I don't know what this is officially called. I call it a joystick. I'm a computer guy, forgive me. Okay, so all the hydraulic pressure has been relieved. That makes it a lot easier. Once I relieve the hydraulic pressure, 
there's a lock on the joystick. I like to lock that. That way when you're running the tractor over, well, here at my place, the ground is rough. So it keeps the uh, hydraulic pressure, in my opinion, from building back up in the front end loader uh, system. So now I like to stand up and remove the four hydraulic hoses. I will restart the tractor and back away. And that's it for taking it off. So a little bit later, I'll go into how I put the front end loader back on the tractor. I've got it pretty much down to a science. I think one of the biggest things you can do is do this on level on a level surface. It makes it a whole lot easier. I find that when I remove the front end loader in my driveway and say the tractor's higher or lower than the front end loader or um, a little um, tipped one side or the other, it's a lot more difficult to uh, put the tractor on. So. I'll try to uh, videotape putting the loader back on. Of course, every time you videotape something, something always goes wrong, never as planned. And uh, so I might have to do one or two takes, but. So I'm gonna go cut my uh, leaves up and blow them away. Okay, folks, so I just finished uh, mowing the uh, leaves in my backyard. There's still a few on the tree, but um, uh, it might not be long. I'll be taking this mower deck off and uh, doing something with it. So what we're going to do is put this front end loader back on. And I'll show you just how I do it. And um, also, this has the uh, AI2 products quick attach on it with the Kubota bucket. So let's go ahead and see if I can get this done today. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to line up the Kubota pins back here, right here, with right here. And I'm going to bring that mower up. I'm probably going to pull it the whole way in, back it off a little, shut the engine down, connect my hoses, then I'll push the arms on the loader back, and then drive into it, and then I'll uh, manipulate the loader so that the loader can, and I'll put the transmission in neutral, and I'll push the loader down so that these get down into the down into the pockets here, and then I'll use the arms, and I'll draw the arms back that way, and that'll pull the tractor forward. Once I do that, I will um, rotate, dump the bucket, so I'll do a dump action on the bucket, which will put the tip of the, the cutting edge of the bucket down near the concrete. That'll lift everything up so it lines up and I can pin the loader. Once I pin the loader, I'll lift the loader, um, undo the uh, loader stand, put it back in its normal stowed position, lower the loader, and we can go to work. So. With that said, let's see how this plan works. yellow so I'm going to find the hose with the yellow connector on it and I'm going to snap it into place that went on easily when I first got this tractor I struggled until I figured out how to relieve the pressure on these vines and once I figured that out it all became relatively easy 
So this of course is the old way of connecting the loader's hydraulics to the tractor. If you have one of the newer tractors with the uh, quick connect, hey, drop a line and tell me what you think of them, especially if you have experience using the older connector. I like this. I'm not sure if I like the new way. I haven't tried it, so I really can't comment. But yeah, I'm, I, I just, this, when I put it on there, I know I got a connection. Maybe the other one's been engineered very well. I shouldn't be talking about this. So, hey, let's see how this works. force the legs to go down into the pockets that they ride in. Let me go and check and make sure the other side is where it's supposed to be. Which transmission in neutral. simple. When I first got my tractor, I struggled with that. And uh, really, if you have your tires inflated to the proper level and make sure that both sides are at the same pressure, same way. So with that said, I lower the bucket, lower the loader, and uh, that's done. So, hey, if you have any tips about how I could do this better, because I'm sure that someone might point out that I did something wrong. Hey, go ahead and tell me about it down below. Be gentle, Hit like, subscribe, and share this with a friend. If you know someone with a BX1850 or just a BX subcompact tractor that could uh, see some of the things that they could do to maintain their own tractor, um, share this video with them. With that said, hey, I'm going to wrap this up. I know